I don't know about you, but under these hot lights, I get kind of thirsty, so. What? What's that you say? We have to practice safe chemistry? We can't drink in a lab? Oh, thanks for telling me. I am so relieved at that. Boy, I could have had some real trouble there for a minute if you wouldn't have told me that. So, what happened? This is a simple, simple reaction. But once again, I'm trying to make sure that you recognize that you have to add your own twist to it. Now, I happen to be a professional magician also, so I incorporate a lot of the magic into my presentations. How did I have this set up? What I did is use a substance called sodium polyacrylate. It's snow powder. It does a phenomenal job where you take a little of it, and it's a substance that absorbs up to 800 times its mass in water. And you just pour it in, and what's going to happen is you're going to form a series of hydrogen bonds, and if you look at that, give it long enough, it gels up. Now, this has been done in many types of presentations, but once again, I've added my own twist. I have used what we call, over here on the easel, a mirror glass, and I didn't want to show it before, but here's what we have. It's really a two-sided glass. And so what you can see is the initial setup. I tried to hold my hand down here to cover up, but what I did is poured a little sodium polyacrylate in the bottom. Now this is sealed, so nothing can get in between the layers. And what I did on the other side is have a black silk. Hopefully, you can't see that. And so I have that on this side, and what I did is, as you saw, I poured in, now you have to be cautious, this was not really Pepsi. You can use Pepsi if you want, but you have to make sure it sets for two or three days so it completely degasifies. I just use coffee or colored water or something like that, and what I did is pour it in there, I took a pause, because I wanted to make sure the substance gelled up. And as you can see, it gelled up. And then I just did a routine where I said, oh, we're not supposed to drink in lab, so I wanted to get rid of it. And this is an important part for demonstrations. It's called pause. Let the audience see, and then start thinking, well, what's going on? And then I just wanted to add an extra twist, and I reached up here and pulled out the silk and draped my forehead. Now this is one possible way to perform a demonstration, but what's important in here is that you have to be yourself. Add your own little flavors to it, and your students will be able to tell that, and they will thoroughly enjoy your class. So think about adding your own little twist to your demonstrations.